Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video which won't be an unboxing as I have already actually unboxed it but I'm going to be giving you a review of a luck laser pointer. Here you don't see any packaging as I've already opened it and threw it away but I can tell you that everything you see in this was packaged well in bubble wrap and you know, paper and everything else. So you can see the handle was actually bubble wrapped as well to stop scratches and it opens with, with a simple latch with a lovely aluminium case and inside you can see a lovely foam you know it's very soft professional but before we do anything you need to remember that safety is the first thing you can do so please please for love of god if you're buying a laser which is more than a cap toy please buy some glasses these ones came with some and you can see they're actually retractable and they can extend with the heads which is quite nice it's better than some of the cheap ones you can buy and they actually chucked in a free green laser pointer it says on the label that it's 200 milliwatts, but I doubt that as it doesn't burn. So I'd imagine it's about 50 to 100. Um, the end is focusable, but I didn't realise that till after the video. The top bit as well, um, which is actually white, can come off, but there's no need for it. So here are the star caps that can go on top of the actual 2 watt blue laser. Um, there's five of them, and you will have the normal effects, really. Uh, and you can see the, um, the adapter here for the Americans. Uh, so you haven't got to worry about buying this in America. For the UK I had to, get, I had to use a separate adapter but luckily I have one spare. And the actual star cap you see is actually from a different laser. So you're going to see here, these are the batteries that I use. They are Ultra Fire uh, 16 uh, 430s and they are 3.7 volts but they're only 1200 milliamps. I bought some 3000s that are on the way but they will do. Any of these batteries will do. So here's the laser itself, it has a lovely weight to it, it's made out of aircraft gate aluminium and the back is completely rubber. It feels like you could shut this thing around and it wouldn't break, it's so sturdy in the hand, it's got a great weight to it, it feels amazing, the heat sink works properly. And uh, as you can see the end here is actually a focusable lens. So it burns without focusing but if you focus it, it really does make things catch on fire. So here's the label, it says it's under 20,000 milliwatts which is actually correct. But this is about, oh, I'll say 1.8 to 2.2 watt laser. I can't be completely sure as I haven't got an LPM, but as you can see, it lights things very well, as you will see in a minute. So this is the case, um, and you realise that this really is a great, great case, really, for the price I paid. I only paid just over £90. Um, but before we do any lasering, let's put on some glasses. Right. So here is the laser again, and this time we're actually going to put the batteries in it. So the top end of the tail end actually screws off uh, anti-clockwise, as most things do, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And as I unscrew it, um, the threads are very fine, which means they're going to last a very long time, which is very good, especially inside this. As you can see, none of it's plastic, it's all metal on the inside, it's all aluminium, it's very, very sturdy. You could knock someone out with this, to be honest. Right, so once you're putting the batteries in, you're going to want to have the positive end, that's the bit with the, uh, the, the knob on the end, pointing away, because you want the flat end touching the spring inside. So this takes two of these 16430 batteries, and you're going to slide these in. It looks like it doesn't go in all the way, but once you add on the tail cap, it fits on absolutely fine. Which is actually excellent. Now, here's turning on the laser. You press the button on the back and it is, you only press it once. As you can see, the beam is very visible. It does look slightly more purple than it would in real life. In real life, the beam is just as visible during daylight. And you can see it smokes instantly on something that burns instantly. And it's not even focused. But yeah, it's more of a lunar purple colour rather than um, a blue colour, which is what we all want. But it does appear more blue in uh, real life, but it is just as visible, so you will not be disappointed. Obviously the camera picks up the purpleness a bit easier. Here's me focusing, you can see the actual beam and the actual beam getting uh, thinner, which does of course mean that it burns a lot quicker and it can ignite things. But for the future for the sake of this video and my house's own safety, I will not be burning anything. I will just be singeing it. So that is the laser. Next we're going to be showing the little laser. It only takes one of the batteries which you put in the 2 watt laser. And uh, it's got the same system where you just turn it on and you can see the beam actually which is quite surprising during the day. It's only a weak laser, um, but for free it's not bad at all. I wouldn't say it's a burning laser in the slightest, but it does show very, very well. Which is very nice. 
So what we're going to want to do is, as you can see, the uh, beam is visible during daylight, which is absolutely crazy. And here I am trying to burn it, but as you can see, it doesn't actually burn. So if you're looking for a burning laser, this green one is not the right one for you, but it's very visible considering it's only 50 milliwatts, whereas the other laser is 2000. Right, so here we move on to the light ones, and we're going to start off with the little green free laser. And surprisingly, it actually shows really well. I will say again that the light and laser you see on the camera is pretty much the same as real life, other than some colour differences. But the green one seems 100% accurate. But here we're going to move on to the lightsaber. This is a 2 watt laser, and as you can see, it completely obliterates the room in this lunar blue sort of colour. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see the beam from any direction. And this room is pitch black, um, so it's simulating night time and it's very, very powerful. As you can see, I am not at fault with this laser. It has a fairly small dot for such a big laser with two watt lasers, blue ones and the diodes do seem to have quite a big uh, radius. But that's not a problem at all with these. So now I'm going to move on to another thing that gave free. It's called the laser saber, or not so much, it's like a laser sword. And as you can see, it comes in a little protective coating, just pull it off. And I'm going to try and stick it on a laser, but here I fail and I wasn't holding the laser. So I'm going to switch over to it in my knees. So now all it does is it screws onto the top of the focusing feature. It has a little uh, screws inside. And you're going to screw it on. And it doesn't take long. Then it'll just, so when you turn it on, you can beam this window instantly. It's crazy how bright this thing is. It, it's just unbelievable. You really feel like you have the force when you're using this. For the money I paid, which is just over £90, and for the stuff you got, you got an amazing burning laser, you have something which comes with so many accessories, the glasses work absolute wonders, you can, all you see is a tiny little dot that won't hurt your eyes. And the craftsmanship is absolutely amazing. But here I'm going to try and burn something, so if you're, looking at, if you're ever looking at the dot, be sure to actually put on the glasses. Don't think, you don't try and be smart. Here, I'm moving it quickly so it doesn't catch on fire, but you can see instantly, no matter where I put it, there is smoke. And I will say that black colours, darker colours, are more prone to laser burning due to absorbing more light, whereas a white paper would burn, but it would take a lot longer. So anyway, here is a charger that it comes with. It's a double charger, a 16 430 charger, and it comes with, uh, I believe, Yes, it comes with like, I think it's European plug sockets, um, but this can go into the American adapter or it can go into my adapter, which I sh um, will show you later. And all you do is you stick these batteries in there, as you can see, whenever the batteries are in it's always green, but when you actually plug it into the wall, which you do just by opening the prongs, and then, excuse me for a second, we then stick it into the wall. Anyway, as soon as you switch it on, you'll see the light goes red. Now, when the, the light will go from red to green, and it will fade, you know, red, orange, yellow, green. Once it is fully green, that is when it will be fully charged. So, thank you for watching my review. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave some in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. Take care and bye.